this is the last full voiceover episode, I promise. Unless we screw it up again. Today we're reviewing Humble Forager Gypsy Outpost, a 12% alcohol by volume pastry porter. Their website reads as follows. This variant of our specially imperial porter stout celebrates the delicious flavors within our favorite Girl Scout cookie. We brew a thick, rich, chocolatey-based beer before conditioning upon toasted coconut, vanilla beans, cocoa nibs, and cinnamon. Sip this pastry porter with your friends reminiscing about adventures in the deep woods. Alright, first and foremost, this beer is a thick, thick boy. This beer is thick, it's oily, it sticks to the side of the glass. I did my best to include some shots that showed that off. On the nose, the first thing that hit us just right in the face was this big blast of cinnamon. This was followed up with the big chocolatey aromas from the malt. And after the chocolatey aromas, you could really pick up the toasted coconut just lingering in the background of this beer. On the palate, the first thing that both of us picked up was chocolate, just lots and lots of chocolate. And this was followed up by a nice warm cinnamon note with the coconut interplaying with the cinnamon very well. Both of us agreed that this beer just sits on the palate very heavy, it's very chewy, it's very mouth coating. Being a pastry porter, this beer is very sweet. If sweet is not your thing, do not pick up this beer. In this case, sweet is absolutely our thing. We went to town on this beer. At the end, you do get a nice warming sensation from the alcohol. It is 12% after all. But what you don't get is any sort of taste of alcohol. There is none of that on the tongue. None of that really just burning the back of your throat. It is just a nice warming sensation. The alcohol is very well hidden behind just the layers and layers of chocolate and cinnamon and coconut and flavor that this beer has. Honestly, our only concerns about this beer have nothing to do with the taste or smell or look and has everything to do with the packaging. Why is it only a two pack of 16 ounce cans? Why can't I get a keg delivered to my home hooked up to a kegerator that I installed on my fridge just for this beer? If it's not obvious to you by now, this beer is a buy. We both agree this is a buy. Go buy this beer. Whatever price they're selling it to you at, it's a bargain. Go buy it. And that will do it for this episode, reviewing Humble Forager's Gypsy Outpost. If you like what we're doing here, hit the like and the subscribe buttons at the bottom of this page. If there's a beer you would like us to review, let us know in the comments section, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>